everyone, you might be in a situation where your weather application, you know, whether the widget or the app itself is just not working. Now, the main reason why this may end up happening is for one, your Wi-Fi or cell connection may not be working properly either. So what you're going to want to do here is you want to go and connect to a better Wi-Fi connection or connect to some sort of cell signal that you may already be on. And you want to go and see if that ends up fixing the problem. For a lot of people, if you're having some sort of cell connection issue, or for some reason your weather widget isn't updating, or if it's saying it's not available, whatever the case is, literally just updating your cell connection or your Wi-Fi connection or getting closer to your Wi-Fi router may end up fixing the problem for you. Now, let's say that doesn't end up working. Well, the other thing you may want to try doing is making your way over back into your settings application. Scroll down until you see your privacy settings, so privacy and security, and right here where it says location services, you may just want to go and make sure this is enabled. If your location services are disabled, your weather widget is not going to work out properly either. So you may just want to go ahead and just turn on or enable your location services or just go and mark it on and off. And that very well could end up fixing the problem too for a majority of people out there as well. Now, if that's not working, another thing you may want to try doing is going back into your settings right in here, find your weather widget, which is right there, and see if for some reason you don't have your cellular data option enabled here. If your cell data you know, option is disabled, that can be another reason why your phone is not you know, restarting or refreshing your weather is because it's just not having the you know, right you know, data options to actually enable it in the first place. Now, if that's still not working, you can go through and try toggling on and off your Wi-Fi, restarting your phone. You can actually also go through and basically try updating your phone as well by clicking on the general settings here, clicking on software update, try updating your phone. That may end up fixing the problem too. So that kind of covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, soldier.